Hi and welcome back. In this next set of videos we're going to do some airline finance and we're going to learn how to do some basic financial analysis based on the information that airlines make readily available. And I think that you'll find that while these documents that airlines issue can seem intimidating at first, it's really easy to pull out the relevant information. You're going to find that these documents are prepared by airlines for their investors to update them on the performance of the airline and they're meant to be readable and usable and once you once you learn the basic layout of these documents it's quite easy to go in and just find what you need we're going to take that high level view then we're going to go a little bit deeper and understand some of the details that drive airline performance and why one airline's performance might be better than the others or why there are certain things on the balance sheet that might impact one airline versus the other. So we're going to go through and look at the, the three quarterly statements that airlines issue, the income statement, the balance sheet, and the cash flow statement. And for example, we're going to be able to understand that if we want to look at how profitable an airline is, we're going to look at the income statement. If we want to know how much debt they're cash carrying or how much cash they have, we're going to look at the balance sheet. If we want to know how well they're managing cash from quarter to quarter, we're going to look at the cash flow statement. And then we're going to put them all together and see how we can use all of that information to draw some conclusions about the financial health of an airline or how well management is doing in managing the resources of the airline to drive a profit to their shareholders. Then we're going to go and take a look at some of the metrics that airlines and Wall Street analysts use to measure airline performance. So we're going to look at something called ROIC, uh, Return on Invested Capital. We're going to look at EBITDA, which is earnings before interest taxes, depreciation and amortization, which is a measure of cash flow. We're going to look at free cash flow and how um, managing free cash flow from quarter to quarter can really impact the long-term health of an airline. We're going to look at the difference between uh, capital and expense and how that shows up on the balance sheet and the income statement. We're going to look at the uh, different ways that leasing or buying airplanes will impact the airline's performance in the short and, long, and long term. We're going to look at the different margins, uh, uh, op margin and pre-tax margin and see how we can use those measures to evaluate industry performance, airlines within and within the industry relative to the other. Uh, we'll take a look at things like how airlines can slip into bankruptcy if they don't manage their cash balance well. So we're going to take a a high level tour and then we're going to dig into some details. Now this isn't an accounting class. I'm not trying to make accountants of all of you. We're going to take a pragmatic approach. We're going to pull out the information that we are we need and we're not we're going to skip some of the detail um, that we we don't need that aren't really relevant to what uh, either students of the industry or researchers who want to understand the business better or airline employees would really want to know about uh, their uh, about airline financial performance. Now the way we're going to do this is we're going to use Southwest Airlines as an example. So what I've done is I've gone out and uh, collected Southwest's income statement, their balance sheet, and their cash flow statement for the most recent quarter. And I'll show you uh, here's their income statement. Here's, uh, let's see, their cash flow statement. We'll go through each one of these, but I just want to show them to you. The uh, balance sheet. And we're going to go through and we're going to use Southwest as an, our, our example. And we're going to see how uh, some of this information is assembled, what information we can pull off of it. And we're going to do some calculations and do some analysis on these documents. Now, the reason I chose Southwest is simply because they do a great job of assembling and presenting the information. And that's important for me as I try to illustrate these concepts. It's not because Southwest has any particular uh, financial uh, performance or interesting capital structure or anything like that. We'll take a look at other airlines to point out some, some interesting things. But Southwest Airlines is just a, a great example to use 
as as an educational purpose and I'll I'll make these documents available to you I'll, I'll show you where you can go get them and then the concepts that we learn here we can apply across the industry and to some other airlines it's um, um, you know the, the format and the information that is displayed in these documents tends to be fairly consistent from airline to airline so by the end of this series you'll be able to look at the information that is out there and draw your own conclusions about the financial health of an airline or how well management is doing in in managing the airlines resources from quarter to quarter instead of relying on financial media or press releases that only highlight things that are of interest to the person doing the communication so in the next video we're going to start with the income statement and then we'll move through the rest of the documents from there Hope to see you there.